Hi guys, welcome to Ocean for Life, the place for boating, fishing and free diving. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ivan. Consider subscribing if you're a saltwater junkie like me. Today I'll be trying for flatfish. I will be using this sliding boom with smaller hooks. The slider means that the flatfish will not notice the weight and will be able to take the bait better. As you can see, there are some attractors here, shiny ones. Uh, the flatfish, some of them have excellent vision. I'm also going to use small pieces of mackerel as bait to add an extra attractor. As many types of flatfish have smaller mouths, I will need to make sure that the uh, hooks and the bait uh, that are cut small. Even though I'm choosing mackerel as bait today, using snails or worms would also do the job, but it's more difficult to get it to stay on a hook. Obviously, since fishing for flatfish, I'm trying to find bottom with a mix of sand and vegetation. I'm also looking for areas between 20 to 60 meters deep. Since I'm fishing with smaller gear today, chances are I will also catch a few other species than flatfish. There's a good chance to catch both grey gurnard and greater weaver, which is poisonous by the way. I've always done heavier deep sea fishing, so today I'm chartering new territories. Time to learn something new. You can see here, I have moved into a place here where uh, there is uh, not, it's not too deep. It's uh, 46 meters now, so I want to go a little bit shallower. Uh, you can see on the bottom here that uh, it's not rock hard, so I'm going to try it and see if it's uh, sand or mud or whatever it is here. Um, I have to hide a little bit from the wind today. It's a northern wind, that's why I'm close to the shoreline here. Uh, that way I'm not drifting too fast, otherwise uh, I will be gone before the fish has a chance to take the bait. I want to show you the gear that I'm using today. I got uh, I got the new fire line. It's uh, 0.39 millimeters, a little bit too thick for the fishing I'm doing right now. And then I have the new uprig with a very small weight, 250 grams and a few pieces of uh, tiny pieces of mackerel on it. I'm now at 26 meters and uh, I'm not drifting too fast. So I'm gonna give it a shot here, see how it goes. It's not the right kind of bottom here. I can feel it's uh, rock hard, so uh, it's not the area for flatfish. But uh, I am drifting, so I will give it a shot here and see if I drift into a di different kind of area. Healthy dinner today. I didn't feel like wasting time on cooking. I'd rather just get out here and do the fishing. I have drifted out a little bit now, 45 meters, and I can see on uh, the chart at the bottom is getting softer. I can feel it too. There is not the same kind of rocky bottom. So um, I'm hopeful this looks better. I think there is something on. It's hard to tell. I'm using such small hooks that I could get very small fish. I have to reel in and uh, check. Yes. What do you know? I got a flatfish.
He's not very big and I'm gonna let him go get out again. But I got fish. First attempt, I got the, the species I was targeting. So I don't, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, I caught the fish on the very last hook. The one that is uh, swinging all the way at the back, getting to drift most freely in the water. And that's exactly the same thing that happens when I'm fishing for the big fish with my heavy gear. It's always the one on the end that is drifting freely in the water that is the best attractor. Summertime in Norway, there is a lot of boats on the ocean now and the uh, weather is as pleasant as it can get. Hot and nice, 25 degrees today and a little windy, but other than that, absolutely gorgeous. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Well, I'm heading into a more shallow area. There, we're into about 30 meters here. So I'm uh, very close to the shoreline, even though it doesn't look like that on a GoPro camera, but it is very close. So I don't want to go too much closer with the drifting and stuff. We've got a fish down here playing with a, with a hook. Got something. Got something pretty decent. You see it? It's 49 meters deep. And uh, I've got to say that this is a little bit exciting because it's a different kind of fishing than what I'm used to. So uh, seeing what kind of species I'm able to get here and uh, if this is indeed maybe a turbot, it would be really fun. It's gone. It was not a flatfish. I don't know what it's called. It's uh, quite similar to a uh, cool fish, but a little bit wider. Uh, whiter. So, but I don't know what it's called. These tiny things here are really, really efficient. A couple of different colors as attractors and uh, very small, very sharp hooks. So even the small fish can get to it. And uh, as you can see from the bait, I'm using very small pieces. Got fish again. I was careful, I let it have the, the hook for a while and then I just carefully gave it one yank. There, I can see something. Last one, this guy is too small. I can't keep him. Get the hook away. These tiny hooks are so sharp, I don't want to get the hook in me. He's gonna get to swim away. So in a way, this is uh, almost like learning to fish again. I have to re explore the areas and uh, learn how to fish in these different areas with uh, shallower depth and bigger or smaller equipment. The last two fish I caught now, that's fish I don't want to catch. So I uh, relocated a little bit and trying to go a tiny little bit deeper and see what happens here. 